What is up guys, Charlie here with Chart Media Group. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take any shirt design and turn it into a print ready file. So now that we're in Photoshop, we're going to get started right away. Now, making a shirt design ready for print is super simple. There's really nothing to it. Um, the one thing you have to consider is um, your layers, basically, because if you have multiple colors, you need to have those colors separate from one another on their own layer, because when that print shop goes to you goes to pull up your file or whatever in Photoshop they're gonna look for that and if it's not separated they're gonna have to separate it which makes their job a lot harder so if you see my layer palette right here you can see that the gent is separate um, the subtext is separate and also the main text is separate so everything's separated already in folders um, besides the top hat of course you know or the gent is what I labeled it but this is the only thing that's not in a folder which is totally fine but the main the main purpose of that is because Gentlemen's and Motorcycle Club is going to be the same color. MC in California uh, or CA is going to be the same color, and then Top Hat's going to be a different color. So um, they're in category or they're in folders for a reason. The way I like to look at it is each color has its own folder. Basically, it doesn't matter what it is on the design. If it's going to be the same color or something else, it needs to be in the same folder so that print shop knows. And you can even title it the the color, um, which leads me to my next point when you go to color your design or add color to your design you need to make sure that they're Pantone colors because that's what a lot of print shops actually print in now if you do not put them in Pantone colors your print shops probably gonna be a little upset and they're gonna ask you to do that um, some print shops really don't care so you need to basically talk to your print shop and ask them uh, what they prefer and some print shops also only prefer illustrator files which is another big thing but we're doing this in Photoshop today and I've met a lot of print shops that print super high quality stuff out of Photoshop so I believe that's a I think that's a myth guys for anybody that tells you that Illustrator is the only way to do shirt designs that is completely inaccurate you do not have to use just Illustrator so anyway let's get started so we're gonna focus on our layers first off and we're gonna kinda color everything by hand because um, I wanted to show you guys how I actually color my design so now that these are in folders I'm gonna start determining what colors I want everything to be now I'm thinking this text can be like a nice purple for some reason. I'm thinking of a purple. So once you kind of figure out what colors you want to use in your design, um, you can start, you know, figuring out Pantone colors. So I want to do a purple automatically. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over to our palette over here, and yours might look a little different. And if it does, I'm sorry, but um, we're gonna go to the swatches. Swatches should be right in front of you, but if you don't see it, um, just go to window here and look for swatches and make sure it's checked. But anyway, this is your swatch palette, and this is kind of your best friend because anytime you're coloring anything in Photoshop or trying to add color to anything, you are going to go to your swatches most likely. So uh, in the swatches palette, you're going to have regular RGB type colors or CYMK, whatever you're set to. I'm set to RGB, but um, that's where you're going to find these. Um, we do not need these though. We need Pantone colors, and we need uncoated Pantone co colors. Now you're probably wondering, where are they? Well, here's what we're going to do to add them. You're going to go to this little air, you know, double arrow here. Sorry, that's not the one. <laughs> My bad. You're going to go to the little menu icon right here with the arrow down. My brain is not working today, guys. But I'm glad that you guys are bearing with me. But anyway, um, we're going to go to this little arrow. And um, once you click on that, you're going to see a bunch of different menu items pop up. We're going to go ahead and go to Pantone Plus Solid Uncoded. That's the one you want. And then you're going to go to Append and you're gonna see a ton of colors pop up see that ton so now I'm gonna to go to my color um, well actually what we can do um, I'm trying to think of how I wanna do this is the thing so we can go to color overlay here move that to the side and we should be able to color um, we should be able to like dab these or another way to do it is to let's back up for a second go to your main text let's say we wanna add a color uh, overlay to everything that is in this folder we just go to color overlay and let's say we want to add those Pantone colors but we don't want to get them from the swatch palette we can just go to right next to blend mode you see a color it's usually default red but click on that and then you're gonna to go to add uh, or you're gonna to go to color libraries sorry um, once you go to that you're gonna see Pantone plus solid coded selected we need to go to uncoded 
I'm not sure what the reason is, but a lot of the print shops I talked to said to go to solid uncoated. So that's kind of what I'm going off of here. But we're basically going to find that purple that we really wanted. And it's going to be a deeper purple, you know? We, we don't want it to be too light. Um, we're almost there. Hmm, what do I want? So you just basically decide kind of what color you want. I'm going to stick with that for now. And I'm basically going to do the same thing for the subtext. But um, for now, we need to figure out what t what uh, color we want that top hat to be. And I'm thinking of a nice, like, go goldish color or something like that. So since I already selected my Pantone plus solid uncoated color um, from my book, it's already going to be selected. So that's cool. I'm just going to switch to these colors and figure out what I want. I'm thinking something like that would be kind of cool. That's kind of cool. So click OK. And you know what? I think I'm going to make MC in California the same color. Just like that. And this isn't like necessarily what I want, you know? Like, obviously, it can look a lot better. But um, this is just for the video, guys. I'm trying to show you how it works, and that's really all that matters. These are definitely not the colors I would have chose. I might actually end up doing this. Let me try this. Switching them around a little bit. Like that. That's kind of cool. I like that better, actually. So, Gentleman's Motorcycle Club. MC, California, um, with the top hat. That's cool. All right, guys. So, that's basically it. We just made our design into Pantone colors. And that's really what the print shop is looking for. They're going to be able to pull that follow-up and, like, you know, find those colors that you chose because they're already right here. And um, it's going to be really easy for them to set their screens up and get everything ready for you. It just makes the job way easier. Um, another thing that I would recommend doing is I would actually put the color palette that you used, the Pantone color palette, with the names of what color you used um, somewhere in the document so they can find it. Or just give it to them uh, directly through email or something. And that really helps them as well. But um, that really does it for this video, guys. There's nothing to it. That's it. As long as everything that you have is in layers, so as long as your design is broken up into layers by color and everything like that, you are going to be set. Make those into Pantone colors like I just showed you, and that's it, guys. Simple, and you're done, and your design is ready for print. So um, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial video, please subscribe and hit that thumbs up, and let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.